Hey, Matt here with The Game of Creativity, and today I'm going to tell you about how you can use The Game of Creativity with your team at work uh, in corporate workplaces. Um, essentially, any kind of job that you have. Uh, one of the big things that I hear a lot is that um, managers, uh, business owners, they want their team to be more creative. They understand the value of creativity, which is to let people be able to think, uh, you know, everybody has their own uh, job in a workplace. If people are allowed to think more creatively and it's encouraged and it's shown as being valuable, they could come up with cost-effective solutions for things. Um, and I think that's super important for, for any sort of uh, any sort of team or any sort of business to be able to to have that openness and not just tell people hey your job is to open mail and then you open mail and then you just do that and nothing else um, for a couple different reasons one again it could lead to much more value if they maybe say hey you know what there's I'm pretty sure there's a different way that we can do this that it would save time or we can work ten times faster if we did something like this um, being open to those ideas. Uh, it's also going to lead to much, much happier employees, which I think is a, is a big thing right now that is kind of missing, and especially in a lot of corporate environments. So let's go ahead and get into it. So how to use the game of creativity uh, for work environments. Um, one of the big things is, is using this as a team building exercise, um, getting some people in a room and um, just letting them play for a little bit. It's just a fun game that's, you know, it's going to create some laughter. It's going to spark some ideas. Um, some people might be, you know, doing a double take because they're like, hey, that's actually a really good idea. Like, we should try to implement something like that. Um, you know, this, this game isn't designed necessarily to give you those great business ideas, but it's to enable um, employees, enable your team to feel more creative to help build their creative muscles so they know again what's valued by the company that they work for so let's go ahead and jump in i know i said that already but let's say it again uh, okay so we have two versions here we have volume two and volume one uh, let's start with volume one so in this case right here i'm going to say that um, maybe we have a a 12 person team uh, this could be your marketing team, could be HR, I, I don't know, human, uh, I don't know, sales. Um, there's a lot of different departments, but we'll just, in this case right here, let's, let's just say sales. Let's say you gather 12 of your sales team uh, together uh, in a single room and you say, hey, you know what, we're going to do 90 minutes of just creative exploration. Um, we're going to do this creative workshop called The Game of Creativity. If you need somebody to facilitate, you can give me a call. You can uh, send me an email, hello at thegameofcreativity.com. So what you can do is, uh, let's say you get them all in the room. Uh, first of all, what I would do is give every single person in the room a pack of uh, both versions of the Game of Creativity. Um, just because, so they know, like, you know, you, you can play in the office, but also giving them a chance outside of the office or maybe they're at their desk and they're just having a really crappy day. Uh, maybe it's just a way for them to kind of explore a little bit. Um, so what I would do in the room is, um, again, let's, let's show them kind of how creative they actually are, that they might not even know it. So one of the things I would do, okay, so let's say that you give them a, some sort of problem that they're trying to solve. And this could be a problem that's rooted in something that's real in their sales team, or it could be something that's just completely made up. Um, it could be something like, okay, how do we get more leads uh, yeah, let's say that. How do we get more sales leads so we know who to call, right? Okay, so that's the problem that you're trying to solve. It is super important to have some sort of problem if you expect people to be creative. Um, so if that's the problem that we're walking into the room with, let's go ahead and with volume one, I call these the ingredient cards. Um, what I'll do is I'll flip over one or two of these. Uh, in this case right here, let's just go ahead and flip over two. So vehicle and outer space. Um, okay, so how do we get more leads? And looking at the combination of these two cards, you know, creativity is the intersection of two or more unlike ideas. In its simplest definition, that's what it is. And that's what these cards are going to do. If you have a problem and you draw two of these cards, people will absolutely think in different ways than they would have by themselves. Um, 
and it, it might be right it might be wrong um but I, I you know what i'll say this like there is no wrong idea there are good ideas and not as good of ideas but this forces people to explore even the bad ones to get over the bad ones to get through to the good ones so again we might flip over these two cards and it would probably create some laughter because people will probably immediately go to this idea of like let's launch a rocket into outer space a, a launch vehicle and then put our logo on the moon and our phone number like even that like it's funny and it's going to create some laughter in the room for sure um and that's kind of part of the point again is to to get people you know as a team building exercise you want people to laugh and have fun with each other um but then after the laughter you start okay like how can we do something like that like what's that combination look like a vehicle and outer space um, now, depending on what it is that you, your company sells, this could lead to something different, you know. Um, but like, what if it was like a grill? Maybe you sell grills at your company. Um, okay, well, what if you attach wings to that grill and launch it into space or something like that? Like, okay, maybe let's make it like an event. Like, that's how we get more leads is some sort of event where we blow up a rocket. Or maybe we tell people that we're going to launch a grill into outer space. There it is. And whenever people show up, we just blow the damn thing up. Um, again, people will have fun with that. Like, so it's an event that all of a sudden isn't traditional by any means. It's not this corporate thing, suit and tie kind of thing. Invite your clients or again, invite a bunch of other people or invite a neighborhood, invite another company to come over for a launch party. Um, yeah, maybe it could even be like a Independence Day kind of thing for other countries. I don't know, I'm sure you, everybody has a reason that they blow up fireworks. <laughs> um, so maybe, it, maybe it's something like that. Um, and, and just like that, so like, okay, you can make a decision at that point. Is the idea worth pursuing or not? Um, the point isn't necessarily in this team building exercise to come up with this super solid idea. But what you can do is, uh, what I, I mean, what I like to do is use pen and paper and um, I'll start sketching out like what that would look like. Um, start writing the ideas out. Um, so in this case right here, I, I might write down things like grill company. Um, uh, sales team. Uh, the problem. More leads. Like I usually just kind of take notes like this. I don't need to write out full things to kind of get the point here. But, um, and then I write down the cards that I'm using so that I can reference back to that uh, later on if I need to. Vehicle and outer space. Okay, so then from there, I might start sketching some ideas out. Um, well, first I wanted to write launch party. It would even be a really cool idea. Like, let's say you have a new product that's coming out and you're calling it like a launch party like people normally do. Um, but instead of this launch party, you're actually going to launch something into space. I mean, it's probably not going to go to space, but that's it would still be fun for people again. Uh, any kind of explosion is going to be fun for people to attend. So, um, so let's say like I have this grill here. Um, so it's a quick drawing of a grill here. And let's say we just put sticks of dynamite on there. <laughs> um, and then maybe like some wings or something like that. Like, I don't know, something ridiculous, but like even that right there, like, okay, I get the idea. We're gonna launch our grill in space or as high as we can anyway. <laughs> uh, and then invite a bunch of people. So invite potential clients. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't plan any of this stuff, so this is really just kind of spur of the moment type of thinking, and that's that's exactly what this kind of sparks, you know. Um, I, I guess not, saying that, like another one of the benefits is when you start opening up meetings like this, like uh, when you have some sort of team building exercise like this, you're going to create um, Again, this kind of environment where it's easier for people to talk about their ideas. And I think that, you know, creative fear is a huge thing right now with, with anybody. Anybody outside of high school almost is just, you know, people have this fear that, oh, maybe my idea is just too crazy, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but, I, you know, I, I think that 
that doesn't really that's not valuable to anybody you want your employees your team to be open and to be able to say their bad ideas even out loud um again because even somebody else might be able to offer something to those ideas to build on that to make it even better um but at the same time also you need to be okay with just scrapping it and starting over and that's what i was going to say now is that okay we have the we have an idea here let's go ahead and we can just draw two more cards um if we wanted to so photography and rounded i'm not going to go into the whole process again but you know, I could have done this idea right here between these two cards. I could have done that um, in a couple of minutes. Um, and it's gonna be like that for, for every single one of these. So like if you dedicated, you know, maybe you did like a rapid fire, like maybe the first round you do for like 10 minutes, but then you do like a rapid fire thing. Like, quick, we wanna hear your ideas and like call on people specifically to, to come up with these ideas. Um, so anyway, uh, another thing that you can do is you can use volume one which is uh, right here. This is our problem, or this is volume two, sorry. Um, these are the problem cards. Now, maybe you want to, again, if you're encouraging creative thinking and um, creative confidence, maybe you go to these team building activities with not a work-related idea. Maybe you wanna do something that kind of gets them away from work altogether, which is certainly a good thing. Um, if somebody thinks creatively about something, then they're gonna think creatively about another thing. That's just how people work. Um, and it's really just to open up their mind to the possibilities of things. So maybe you come into these team building activities again with about 12 people and um, maybe you draw a card. Um, so in this one right here, uh, in 2018, there were 82 school shooting incidents in the United States. So obviously nobody's gonna find that funny and that's not a bad thing. It's still good to try to have people explore potential solutions for big problems in the world, right? Um, so maybe you guys just go around the table and quickly talk about like, okay, now how, how do you think that we could solve that real quick? Like each person can kind of have a couple minutes to explain their idea. Um, and it's, it's, in this case, it's not necessarily meant to, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna solve this problem. It's meant to get people thinking, again, quickly. So maybe you go around the room, I, having time limits on on just using these cards are super important. Um, and then like, you know, go around the room once and then all of a sudden it's the next one. 7.6 million pets enter animal shelters every year in the US. Um, so again, quickly going around the room and that could work really well. Um, now, another thing that you can do, um, I guess my personal favorite way to use the cards would be, okay, so maybe we drew this card of 7.6 million pets enter animal shelters every year. And then uh, at the front of the room, you could draw one of these cards. So sans serif. Uh, if you don't know what that is, give people a chance to kind of look up what sans serif is and how, how can sans serif help solve that problem. Could lead to posters, um, other sort of design work. Um, you could flip it over, health. So, okay, how can like we use doctors or veterinarians or something like that to try to help solve that problem? Um, that's kind of how it works. So. What you can do is, let me go ahead and put these cards back real quick, um, is you can um, do this one of two ways. What I would do is, okay, so there has to be one kind of mediator in the room um, and the other person that kind of helps, again, I guess we'll call them a facilitator. Um, and what they can do is at the front of the room with the 12 people there, you can start by flipping over a, um, a volume two problem card in this case right here, so 44.6% of phone calls are spam calls. If this is a sales team, this is a super good one to have. <laughs> um, and you can certainly stack the deck. You can cheat if you if you really need to. <laughs> um, it's more fun when you just kind of do it at random. But okay, so let's say you draw that card right there. And then you go around the room with the volume one cards and each person gets a card. And with this, each person on the sales team has to use that card to explain a potential solution to that problem. So in this case right here, um, so 44, almost half phone calls are spam calls. Like how can we use like metal uh, to try to solve that problem? Um, my mind as a, as a visual person, as a creative person, I tend to go towards arts. Um, so I'm like thinking like, well, what if it was like, like a, I don't know, 
maybe this is like an awareness piece uh, for everybody in the office even. Like, hey, like let's not spam people. Let's actually try to solve their problem. Um, let's show that we understand what their problem is. Maybe this is even a social media campaign where it could be like a metal sculpture that's, that's made um, to basically remind people, hey, we're not spam. Like we have to help people. Um, boom, just like that. Um, and then like the other idea is you, there's, there's tons of different places that you can go with this. And again, some people, it might be easier or harder for certain people. Uh, they might get a really difficult card, but even if they say like, oh, I couldn't think of anything, I, that, I don't, I don't believe that. I just think that like maybe they just couldn't think of a good idea. Um, you got to really encourage people to say even their bad ideas or the first thing that comes to mind. And what I find is that giving them less amount of time to come up with ideas makes them feel like it's more okay to say the bad ideas. If you say, all right, let's spend 45 minutes trying to solve this. Well, if people have 45 minutes and they are just thinking of just a ton of bad ideas, they're not gonna, they're not gonna feel like saying it because they're like, oh my God, everyone's gonna judge me for thinking on this for 45 minutes. Whereas if you say three to five minutes, people are like, clearly I didn't have enough time to really think about this. So it's okay if it was bad idea. Um, so something to keep in mind there. Um, so anyway, um, you can do that. Um, so the last way that I'll kind of show, now, I mean, you can use these cards with your team so many different ways, um, but I'm just talking about a couple here today. We're, we're gonna write some articles soon. Um, and we'll have those in the blog about how uh, specifically you can try to use these. But another way would be to, you know, again, draw that problem card um, and then give everyone in the room a single um, ingredient card, the volume one cards, and then tell them that they have to pair up with other people or like do like a speed dating kind of thing where it's like they have to go around the room and talk to everybody and they have to combine their ideas together to be able to solve the problem. Now something like that, again, creates an awesome amount of, of team building right there. Now they're, they're getting to know the people in their team a little bit more and they're trying to come up with some sort of solution right again if they only have two minutes to try to figure out how that problem works and you know their job is just to write them down and then they keep going around the room if there's 12 people that would be you know six six rotations uh, and then at the end you know each person kind of starts talking about some of the some of the better ideas that they had like maybe each person has to pick the top three each team has to pick like the top three that they that they really liked to solve whatever problem it was. Whether that's using the volume two problem cards or maybe it was just um, like a real world problem that, um, that your company is, is actually having. Either way, I think it would be really beneficial. So if you wanna know more, uh, you can go to thegameofcreativity.com um, and uh, you can get these cards as individual packs or you can get them in bulk at a discounted rate for your team. Again, that's thegameofcreativity.com. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at hello at thegameofcreativity.com. Thanks.